Katie is a 43-year-old accountant and mother of two who has been struggling with eating for several years. She has a hard time swallowing and often has chest pain, but has learned to cope by cutting her food into tiny bites and drinking a lot of water while eating. She's always the last in her family to finish a meal and has stopped going to dinner with friends. But then things got scary when she started to choke on a small piece of meat and had to go to the emergency room to get it removed. Katie sees her doctor to ask about treatment so she can avoid another trip to the emergency room. Over the years, her doctor has referred Katie to a board-certified allergist for allergic rhinitis, also called hay fever, and asthma, and wonders if her symptoms may indicate another allergic condition. He refers Katie back to the allergist to determine whether she might have eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE. EOE is due to type 2 inflammation, which causes an overactive immune response. Many people with EOE have one or more conditions connected to type 2 inflammation, such as hay fever and asthma. Katie visits her allergist, who explains that many people go through something called the atopic march, often starting as children, with eczema, and then developing other conditions such as food allergies, hay fever, asthma, and EOE. EOE may be triggered by different things. The allergist talks about how one or more of Katie's triggers make the immune system overreact. EOE causes white blood cells called eosinophils to collect in the esophagus, the tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. Over time, the esophagus swells up, gets inflamed, and narrows, making it difficult to swallow many foods. To find out if Katie has EOE, the allergist will work with a gastroenterologist who will do an endoscopy, placing a flexible, narrow tube with a camera down her throat while she is sedated to check for signs of EOE. The gastroenterologist will take some biopsies of the esophagus, looking for increased eosinophils. The allergist will also run some tests to see if allergies may be triggering the EOE and what specific triggers are making the problem worse. Katie learns she has EOE. The allergist assures Katie that treatments are available and they will work together to find the best one for her. Thanks to her primary care doctor, allergist, gastroenterologist, and treatment, Katie's EOE is under control. She's enjoying eating dinner with her family and going out to restaurants. If you have similar symptoms, learn how to start on the journey to relief today.